channel so if you cannot tell by the title today we are finally doing these passion twists i never mentioned this before but i have been trying to do these or well, not even trying let me stop i've been procrastinating for about two years on doing these because i'm watching the people do it and i'm like oh that looks easy but i can't do it i had the hair I had the hair sitting here for literally two years i don't know today i just said let's go ahead and do it so if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We're gonna get right into it. So yesterday I washed my hair and I parted it. I got me a little mirror. I don't know if you've seen these on Amazon. It's the um, it's like the trifold mirror. It was like 30 bucks and it definitely helped me with parting. Still took me about two hours to part because I was trying to make them as straight as I possibly could. So everything is parted. Let me just kind of take it out so that y'all can see. We have all the parts done. This is the back okay so everything is done so i've just been trying to do some of these um some of these twists and i'm starting with the back because that is supposed to be the easiest so this is what i have here so far okay it's not much like i said i washed it yesterday today i just started to actually twist them up what am i using this is the hair that i'm using i have two packs of this and then i have two packs of a different kind this is 22 inches and then the other one is like 20 inches i can't grip so I said, I'm going to do the rubber band method. Now, if you don't know what that is, all you do is you part your hair and, you know, like so. Um, I'll just grab this one right from the front, right? You part everything, you put the rubber band on it, you make it nice and neat. You wrap the hair on top of it. You start it with a plait, like a three-strand plait, and then you switch over to twisting. That's how you do it so that it's secure, so that it stays. The only issue that I seem to be having, which is not really a big problem for me, is the hair is supposed to cover the rubber band. So I don't know if because this is what the hair looks like. So it's already separated. Oh, if I could get it. All right. It's already separated, right? And you're supposed to just put it over the rubber band like so. And then you go. But you see how it's looking. I don't know if it's because the hair, I don't have, I should be using two strands to make it wider so that it will cover it. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm too through with this. So I don't care. If it shows the rubber band, it shows the rubber band. What I care about is walking down the street and it doesn't fall out. I'm going to show you how I started off. And because this texture and the fake hair texture is clearly not the same, we want to make it nice and, you know, nice and, um, and slick. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. So we're just going to use the shine and jam, the same thing that I used to do the sections. And we just want to put that on the hair. So to make it as smooth down as possible. Right, and this is just to help it so that when you're twisting it, it doesn't pop out of the um, pop out of the twist. Some of it may still do that, just because it's natural hair and she's gonna do what she want to do, and that's fine. But you want to try to make it as, as straight as possible. My hair is really curly, y'all know that, so it takes a lot of this stuff to kind of weigh it down. And even then, it still curls back up. So that's also been taking a little bit of time. So you see, when I they say to bring it as close to the root as possible so when I do that it's still going to show the rubber band it's on top of it but it's above it so it's still showing it so what you're supposed to do is put it like on the rubber band but I can't do that I'm gonna be honest with you because it, it was just sliding off so for me if it shows it it shows it it's not a big deal I have it over that's it just like that and you start it and like I said I think I am doing it right it's just that I don't have enough fake hair to where it's wide enough to where it's covered or oh, now i kind of want to cover just a little bit because i'm on camera but again i don't care so we want to braid this you know like a few ways down i don't know how many times i'm doing it just enough so that you know it's not going to come out of your hair right once you get that the easiest way that i found is to get your hair in the middle since you're using it as one of the, the strands and after you finish the twist the uh plaits you split your natural hair into two and you put it into the twist right so be careful how you twist the hair. This is very important. I learned this on the first one. My normal way of twisting is left hand over the right. Um, but you have to go the way that the hair was originally twisted. And in this case, it's right hand over. So I twisted it my way. And you're going to be able to tell the difference when you finish with the braid. It looks like gappy and it just looks loose. It doesn't look right. So this is the way. And for me, this is horrible because it just it doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm twisting backwards. But this is the way that the hair was already twisted. So I have to put it back. The same way i know that sounds crazy but if you do twist you already know what i'm talking about even if you do twist it with your natural hair i think it's like around the same thing i think if you twist it one way it looks kind of you know like awkward but if you twist it the other way it looks a little normal i will be dipping this hair it is um how do you call it yes a hot water set hot water set 
premium fiber, light and soft, and it's flame retarded. Retardant. <laughs> Not retarded. Retardant. This is where I'm at. Um, I'll come back when I have more done. And then we'll just see what we're working with. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm tired, but I'm excited. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> I'm bugging out. What? So this is all I have left is the front. This is what the back looks like. Um, I'm gonna leave them long. I decided to leave them long because I love the way the long look looks. Um, I have to go back and just twist the um, the bottoms. I was on the phone with my best friend. And she was like, girl, if you don't just leave them bottoms, but I thought they was gonna unravel. It definitely did not. So I'm gonna eat, sit down, and just twist up the bottoms and then I'll dip it. But all I have is these left in the front. I think it's about like eight that's left. I'm gonna use the shorter pack for that. It's not that much shorter. This one is the 20 inches. So it's gonna have a slight layer effect in the front. And then we're gonna be done. It is, what, it's 8.07. So I started, I think at five. So this is three hours worth of work right here. My entire back and the, the crown portion. I think I did good if I may say so myself. I had a few hiccups along the way, but you know, we're not gonna worry about that. Um, my hands are not as tight as I thought they were going to be, so that's great. But my feet hurt because I've been standing the whole time. I didn't sit down. But anyway, I wanted to pop back in and show y'all what we are looking like. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, like I said before, some of the rubber bands are showing. I don't care. I don't care. My hair is almost black. You know, it's so dark brown that it looks almost black. The rubber bands are black. It's not a big deal. And if somebody come up to me and say something, then they too close anyway. So it is what it is, but um, yeah, this is where we at. Let me go ahead and just show y'all one more time how I am doing the front ones. How many left do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine left. Look at me just tossing them. That's it's something about long hair. It just does it. It does it. All right, so let's get this pack opened up. I hope this hair, this hair don't look too much different. It's a little flatter, but whatever. We're going to make it work. Oh, wait. This is like... Oh. Oh, this is boho twist. So maybe I should put those in the front. That might look kind of cute. They already did the work for me. I did not know this. I thought this was just straight passion twist. Look at that little surprise. And I had these for two years and didn't know it. I mean, it says it on the bottom. No, it doesn't say boho twist. It says bomb. No, it got all boho wavy. That's what it says, but I did not know that that's what that meant. <sighs> Stop playing. Look at that. All right. Um, so I guess it should still go in the same way. I'm going to try one and see what this looks like. If this is not doing the same thing as the other hair, then we're not, we're not going to use it because I got to be able to untwist the hair to open it up. This is stupid. Yo, you can't do it. It's crochet, but, and I have a crochet needle. Um, I could just wrap it around. I think I've seen people do that. <sighs> and try to do the twist that way. Let's see. Instead of crocheting it on. Let's see if this way will work. Just wrap it around my hair. this one you guys no I'm not gonna like this for that I would just leave stranded hair out nah I don't like it never mind I'm gonna take it right on out I don't mind it showing a little bit but I'm trying to not make it show so much if possible there we go that's a little bit better and you want to braid like like an inch down um, and the easiest part that I learned like I said before get to the part where your hair is in the middle strand and then you start twisting it okay all the way down and remember to make sure that you're twisting whichever way that the twist was actually done in the beginning because it will come out looking so much better 
And definitely, if you can't part, you like me, get you one of these. It will save your life. It will save your life because when I did my mini twist on my natural hair and I didn't have any any um, weave hair in it at all, I'm up here trying to hold the mirror and part my hair at the same time. It's impossible. You can't do it. You can't do it. So we're about a little more than halfway down. So I can stop here and then just leave it. And I'll come back and I'll do it. All right. So I'm going to do these, but I'm going to speed it up. Y'all already know how I do it. I can't wait to be done. Not that I'm tired. I just want to see what the finished result looks like. And I'm hungry. it may not I don't really care it's right here my part is a little off so this has more space on it on this side than it does this side it's not really a huge deal like you know it's not gonna matter that much but I don't know we have to see but this is the back I'm gonna keep the full length because I like the 22 inches so I got my mousse right here I'm boiling my water I love it I love it listen you want to do some braids you want to do some twists do it don't psych yourself out. It's not that hard. It's really not. Once you get the parting down, everything else is gravy. So I don't know how much I'm supposed to put, but ooh, that's definitely not how you do it. But, Dry up. Do I do it all the way down? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna do them all the way down. Just to kind of set everything. Y'all, they came out so nice. <laughs> Y'all know me, I get hate. I get hate. Something about braids. Braids and nails. Right? You got that sound. You got that sound. It's very light. Oh, and it does not hurt. The top last night I was a little worried because I think I thought that I um, did my rubber bands a little too tightly, but I did not because they don't hurt anymore now. I mean, it's a little tender, but you know, it's not like how it was last night. Last night it was really, really hurting, um, but it seemed to have loosened up. So we are good. I don't know if I need any more loose. Not, but I love them. Yeah, we love them. We can do all the sides. See, I could pick them up. Hi, hi, star. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just really, really happy. I have never done anything like this on my head, ever, 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 ever. So I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Next, I'm gonna do braids. I'm gonna do box braids. 
because I feel like I can't. So I only used um, two packs of hair. All of this is two packs. I don't know how many, how many twists I have, but it's a lot. It's a lot. That's all I know. It's just two packs. So how many ever bundles come in those packs? That's how many I use. Y'all saw, I just did the single. Um, I love them. I love them. But anyway, like I said, just waiting for the water to boil. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and dip it. But we are pretty much done. So I can go ahead and end the video here. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.